What is up guys, Julie Mikkel here of Social Vignerons. Welcome back to another wine video. This is episode number three of the Talking Wine with Julian series, your daily fix of wine information. So because I'm committed to giving you some interesting facts about wine every day, I thought on Tuesdays we would do something a little bit different. I would go around the top news, the news that I found particularly interesting over the past week or so. So today we have stories around a stunning wine barrel made out of crystal. We've got some more Italian, fake Italian wines, wine for pregnant women, the Chinese New Year's and much more. This is your Wine News Tuesday, let's get right into it. First, France 3, the French television channel, reports about the release of this stunning wine bell entirely made out of Lalic crystal glass. This wine barrel was crafted and it's taken over two years to be crafted to celebrate the 400th anniversary of Chateau La Forêt Perraguet, founded in 1618. This is the premier Grand Cru Classé of Sauternes, the first grow of Sauternes in the Bordeaux region. Sauternes obviously are Botrytis less harvest sweet wines that feature this beautiful golden color that this bell allows to see through. This other website shows other angles of the bell. You can see how stunning it looks at the chateau's uh, bell room. Chateau La Forêt Perraguet is owned by Silvio Dens, who is also the CEO of famous Lalic Cristallery, uh, the crystallery up in Alsace, a worldwide famous crystallery. If you're wondering where you can see this stunning bell, this is at La Forêt Perraguet, so just south of Bordeaux in the Sauternes area. Beautiful, stunning uh, vineyard uh, landscape. It also features a fantastic, what looks like a fantastic hotel, a Michelin star restaurant, beautiful rooms, uh, some tasty food, a brilliant chef, a cellar full of delicious wine, stunning golden color of sauternes wines. And there you will also be able to find not only good food, but now the stunning crystal glass wine bell. I just wanted to highlight this because I find that it's just a brilliant piece of art. You might want to follow these guys on Instagram, Hotel Restaurant uh, Lalique. Next we have the Mercury News reporting about the white wine emoji campaign continuing on. If you're not aware, uh, the white wine emoji is a campaign started by Flora Springs. Uh, up in Napa Valley started over a year ago in December 2017 and she rants about the fact that there is only a red wine emoji and uh, sh they found that uh, social media ambassadors became frustrated that there was no emoji for white wine so yes there is still a white wine emoji campaign still going on this is uh, actually a thing they have their own website this is what the white wine emoji would look like or what we would hope it would look like I personally find reading the articles that looks more like a marketing campaign marketing rant uh, to me does the world really need a white wine emoji but yeah it is a fun little uh, topic to talk about and uh, it's got us talking then we have an Australian news website, news.com.au, reporting about pregnant women being obsessed with a non-alcoholic wine. Uh, it was developed through the same process as wine before the alcohol is removed. Edenvale's ranch brings with a taste of the real thing and nearly half the calories of normal wine. So from sparkling rosin and Riesling to fancy Chardonnay, an Aussie beverage company has mastered a formula that has not only attracted pregnant women, but health conscious people as well. So this um, wine producer called Edenvale has developed a variety of products that are alcohol removed uh, wines. There is actually nothing really new there. Alcohol removed wine has been around for some time. Um, but what is news to me is that pregnant women can benefit uh, from these innovations. Uh, this is not really news, but um, it would be interesting to taste what the wines taste like. Then Food & Wine reports that the UK is producing more wine than ever. So in 2017, uh, they were predicting that the production of sparkling wine in England 
would be booming thanks to new plantings uh, and they were estimating at the time that it was predicted that the new plantings would help the UK produce about 2 million more bottles of wine each year. But the record has actually been broken in 2018. England and Wales produced a staggering 15.6 million bottles of wine, breaking the old record of 6.3 million bottles by 9.3 million. Um, so that's great news for the UK, especially with these difficult times around the Brexit. Um, they better be making s themselves some of their own wine, I suppose. So in, in any case, it is really great news. I am actually going to be reviewing some sparkling English wines on my Tasting with Julian series here, right here on this channel. So stay tuned for this. Great to see the Brits uh, making more and more wine. And finally, we have Fiona Beckett of The Guardian giving us some wine recommendations for Chinese New Year. Because yes, today, uh, February the 5th, is the Chinese New Year, Year of the Pig. Happy New Year of the Pig, uh, everyone. So Fiona gives us of, uh, her recommendations, uh, some Chenin Blanc and Viognier, Pinot Gris, Rieslings, Merlot, uh, sparkling Pinot Noir, so soft but crisp and uh, maybe slightly sweet uh, white wines I suppose or soft and uh, smooth uh, red wines as well enjoy your Chinese New Year so this was your wine news Tuesday I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a like let me know in the comments what you found interesting or less interesting in this video if you like learning about wine and if you want to learn uh, take a few minutes every day to learn more about wine make sure to subscribe to the channel and I will run these weekly updates on top wine news feel free to send me the news that you find interesting that you would like to see feature in those videos for next week uh, tomorrow uh, on Wednesdays I will be reviewing wine accessories and tomorrow I will be reviewing this uh, little corkscrew which pretends to be the smartest way to open a bottle of wine so that should be interesting and I will be also we will ha be having a look at this watch uh, whose bracelets is made out of cork stained with wine it's actually very beautiful so I will show, show that to you tomorrow so as usual I will see you soon in the wine world.